welcome everyone to another InventRight.com YouTube show. My name is Andrew Krauss. I co-founded InventRight with Stephen Key 18 years ago. and We've been coaching and mentoring inventors ever since. So what are we going to cover today? We're going to talk about one of the greatest tools that you can use to do your research. So basically, when you come up with an idea widget, in this example, we're going to talk about a kitchen cutting board. You cannot, I stress, you cannot, yes, I put that in capitals for a reason, move forward with your idea until you study the micro category of your invention. So what the heck is a micro category? So if you have a cutting board, you need to study all the cutting boards. You need to do that. You can't just make assumptions on what you've seen down at your local store. It does not cut it. Now, using this tool that I'm going to show you, it's going to help you do that very easily. It's a little bit of work, but it's totally 100% worth it. So basically, this is not optional. The companies you show to will know of these competing products. You need to have that same knowledge. You can't go down this road and try to sell and license your idea with blinders on. Well, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it at the stores I've been to. Uh-uh. Not going to cut it. So, But this tool will make it easy. So this is not optional to study the micro category of your invention. Again, what is that? If you're doing a cutting board, you've got to study all the cutting boards. If, you got, if you're doing a barbecue spatula, you've got to study all the barbecue spatulas. You don't have to study like this really broad group, a little bit more specific to what you're doing. Um, but you're going to see that in a second here. So this is just one talk technique. It's not the only technique. But it's one of the best ways to study the micro category of your invention. So let's jump in. Um, you're like, Google, well, I know Google. What's, you know, what's special about Google? Yeah, of course I use Google. I know you do, but you probably don't use it like this. Okay. So let's say you got this cutting board. So I'm going to type in cutting board. And I'm going to click return. Now, we're going to do something extra. We're going to search Google Images. Okay. So you see it says all shopping, images, news, videos, more. We're going to click on images. We're not going to sift through all these links. Yeah, you got a few pictures of some things, but you, you want to click on images right away. So now, why is this important? You're a creative person. Most creative people are very visually oriented. So when you can look at all these products and look at their benefits and look at the price, and maybe they're writing about it on a blog, maybe it's on a website, you can click through to all this stuff. Now, Google has added some additional things here, you can get even more specific. They're letting you do that. They're handmade cutting boards, homemade, animal cutting boards, butcher block, black cherry, woodworking. You got all these different things, exotic wood. This one's out of exotic wood. Now, let's imagine that our cutting board has storage. Let's say that's a major feature. So we want to know about all the cutting boards with storage. So I could just click on this one right here. And I could go through to the website where it's usually being sold. Maybe sometimes it's on a blog. It's taking a little while to load. And wow, 160 bucks. That one's expensive. So I could look through there. So I could look through this product and go, okay, this is cutting board storage, 160 bucks. And I could look through all the benefits of it, see what, what's so unique, what's so great about this cutting board, right? How is it different? And make notes of that. But if I had a cutting board with storage and I just did that, and I go, oh, there's just one. There's just one. I'm paging through here. Okay, I found one other. You know, oh, no, no, this is so unique, so unique. Well, not so much. So let's, I'm typing, I typed in cutting board. Now I'm going to say with storage. So this is why you need to do various keywords. You can't just type in your first few words. Now, so I typed in cutting board with storage, and I found a heck of a lot more than I just found when I typed in cutting board. I see one right here where they come out, they look like they're two little bowls, I see little trays, I see, I see tons of cutting boards with storage. One stores knives here. There's a lot of cutting boards with storage. There's this big one right here, it's just like, wow, that's like, it's got a lot of storage. So here's, here's what I'm trying to tell you, don't be lazy. Use your mind, don't, you, you can't go through this trying to think like, well, I'm going to prove that nothing like it exists because my product's so unique. That is completely the wrong mindset. You want to say, look, I know these companies are going to be aware of these other products. I need to know what the benefits they are, of them are. I need to know what the price points are. I need to take a look at all of these 
So when I present it, I know that my product has some unique positioning that is unique to these other products. Could be very slight, but you need to know about these other products, right? You don't want a company to say, well, what about product X? And you're like, huh? When you could have just spent a little bit of time searching Google Images. So, um, so anyway, the cutting board with storage found a lot more. So at first, I would just be general. I'd just do cutting board, see what's there, and then do a little, go a little deeper. Um, I did a search a little bit before, and I, I typed in silicone. So now, if we just typed in cutting board with storage or cutting board, you're not finding a lot of silicone mats, but I typed in silicone earlier, and I'm like, holy crap, silicone, silicone cutting board. And I found a whole bunch. I, mean, I don't know if these things are actually silicone. Some of them are, but some of them are plastic. But So if you're doing a silicone cutting board and you were lazy about your search, you could be like, oh, this is so unique. It's so special. <laughs> and, and it's like, no, there's a ton of these out here. Now, we all know that there's these types of cutting boards. They're not all wood. But you get the idea. So now let's go back just to searching cutting board, okay? This is really cool, too. You can play around with this. You're going to find a lot of stuff. So we just search cutting board right now. And guess what? When I, when I click on view all right here, ooh, what is this? Oh, there's some detail. There's filters. Hmm. Price price points. You can a twenty to up to twenty dollars. So if you're a low price cutting board, you can search for cutting boards under twenty bucks. Uh, material, plastic or wood. Uh, type. A breadboard, a cheese board, a chopping block. There's a whole bunch more. You can click on more and see more of them there. Um, the brands. Now, oh, these are brands of cutting boards. Well, geez, well, you know that these are companies you could license to, right? You could just filter those and look at, look at, you know, ten of this brand and five of this brand. The shape, even the shape. Wow, features, and then where it is. You know, look at all these retailers where these cutting boards are. Amazing. You guys have to do this. You cannot go through and work on your product and do your prototype and do a provisional patent or, God forbid, a patent. You guys watch your videos, do a provisional. Um, or do a provisional patent or make your list of companies without doing this first. You need to know what else is out there. Now, if you find something similar, that proves there's a market for your idea. That's great. And you've got a slight variation. So don't think that, don't have this artist mentality. I have to prove there's nothing like it. Don't, don't do that. If there's similar things, got a slight variation. Sometimes it's even easier for a company to want a license because they see that things are selling somewhat similar, and then you've got this slight tweak. So when your product's on the shelf with those others, they're like, oh, this has that little extra something. Not like, it doesn't have to be mind-blowing. It's that little extra something. And that could be cheaper, it could be better, it could be a lot of different things. That's a whole other YouTube show. But Google Images is where it's at. Do a regular Google search, click on images, use all these tools that they give you here, and you will find so much. And when you're looking, look for benefits of products, look at the price, write it all down. Like this one's saying it's, it's not going to retain any mold, or it can be washed in the dishwasher, or it's easy clean, or... Um, you know, or whatever, or it has a trough for meat juice around it, or whatever. Okay, you got to look at all those products and write it down. Don't just keep it in your head, right? So this doesn't take a long time to do. It could take you a fair amount of time. I found that people have a lot of fun with it, but when you're researching something you already invented, they have anxiety about it too because you're worried that something similar is going to exist and you don't want to find it. So do not do that. Don't get in this mindset, well, I'll just, you know, subconsciously sabotage this process by not really doing a thorough search, okay? So hopefully you guys found this was helpful. This isn't the only tool to research products in the microcategory idea by any means, but it is, it is one of the best, and it's amazing. It works for most products, for certain maybe industrial products. You've got to try it. Type in your keywords and, and see what comes up, um, but it is it is. It is our InventRight students go to the, the first tool that they use before they use others. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I want to remind everybody to take care and keep inventing. Catch up with you next time. Bye. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.